Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the OmniSlabs version 0 0.05 server. And things look different once again. Uh, <laughs> all kinds of stuff erupting all over the place. This would appear to be Mr. E's ultra dumb reed farm. Uh, it is just a reed farm, as far as I can tell. Uh, which is good, which is good. We definitely needed a reed farm, a good bulk reed farm that we could. Um, get bulk reads from, but that leads me to this, which is, as you might be able to see, where a particularly unsightly spire of gobbledygook used to be, uh, looks a bit better now and is actually fully functional. I am very happy and it's awesome. Uh, so I will quickly show around, do I have, actually, yeah, I'm gonna use dirt. Um, for the purpose of easy cleanup. So it's a pretty nice design. I completely revised it from what I had before, but it's the same general concept. Um, basically, uh, directly underneath this piston, uh, there is uh, the sugarcane. Uh, when it grows up, it hits basically the bottom of this piston, or the side, bottom, face, whatever. Uh, grows up to touch that piston. Um, which realizes that it is being diagonally powered. Uh, pushes out this cauldron, which uh, activates that comparator, uh, which charges dust underneath, which powers that piston, pushes the thing out, um, and harvests the sugarcane, and also turns off this torch, uh, which depowers this, that update updates this once again, retracts it, and that unpowers everything and powers that again. But it doesn't realize it yet because it hasn't received a block update. Something like that. Don't mind the Skype updates. I forgot to go offline Skype. I'll do that in just a sec. But anyway, so uh, basically, and then below that we've got hoppers, which, um, shut up, I'll be with you in a second. Uh, the water streams are there and the hoppers are directly underneath right along like that leading into this chest, into that chest, into that chest. As you can see, we've already got a little bit. Um, it's just four sugarcane plants, so I don't expect any amazing rates, but at least it's something, and it should be fully automatic, very efficient for, you know, sugar, for four sugarcane plants. Um, and uh, yeah, so that should be really awesome. That's right here next to the villager trading hut, so we'll be able to use it for paper trades and similar. Uh, there's also something else that I wanted to do. Uh, I got that Silk Touch book from uh, Mr. E last episode, and I do want to use it on some shears to make some eaters, an eater of glass, because I, I think this would be the best use of this, and this would be useful for basically everything, I think. I don't, I don't think there's anything that... Um, I wouldn't be able to use this on for silk touch purposes, and of course, I believe it's still the case. I can test it out quickly enough right here. Yes, it does not take durability when breaking things like glass, and will break it quite quickly, and indeed, uh, will silk touch it. So, that is very awesome, and now I have some eaters of glass which will be able to, um... I have an an eater of glass, I don't know, it's sort of a singular sort of thing. Although it's shears, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, how would you, how would you do that? How would you do that? I don't know. But regardless, um, this I imagine could also be useful on glowstone, yes, very good. How was that set up before? I'm not sure, I think it was more or less like that, okay. Oh. Inadvertently harvesting sugarcane as well. Uh, but yes, so that is very nice indeed. And so I've got my eater of glass, and I've got reed farm, which is very nice indeed. So I guess, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do next at this stage. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll just figure something out, and then I will check back when I do. So here I am at the blaze farm. And it just occurred to me that it might be cool to set up a system, uh, perhaps over here, to automatically distribute 
blaze rods into the furnaces uh, to be used as fuel. Uh, there are a few in here already. Uh, it looks like people have just been manually putting them in. But it might be cool to throw in some hoppers, especially because we've got more iron than we know what to do with nowadays. Um, throw some of that in and get some of that going so that it can be a bit more automatic and we can just sort of put any extra blaze rods right into a chest up here and have them just distribute nicely. Uh, and maybe even do something similar for, like, smelting items. Maybe I can put that over on the other side or someplace and have those automatically filter in and get distributed around and um, then you can just pick them out, pick the um, results out at your leisure um, to get the XP and so forth. Uh, not that you'd exactly need a whole lot of XP after idling at this for any amount of time. But, I guess I will go grab some iron and start getting that figured out. So I'll be right back once I've made a little progress. Alright, I'm back and I've gotten myself some iron uh, and a bunch of chests, uh, as well as some further wood, so I'll be able to continue further uh, once I run out, which will be before all too long. Uh, okay. Uh, hang on. Boop. 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 Uh, no, no, no. Okay, whatever. Be that way. Fun. See if I care. Do. 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 Okay. 16 hoppers will get me started at least. Uh, and I want to have it actually the really tested. I don't know exactly how hoppers interact with furnaces, so let me quickly test. Boop! Where does that go? That goes into the... Yeah, okay, so that is where I want that to go. How do I want to do this? I could... Well, I can't do it with water, obviously. Uh, that crafting bench will still be accessible if we block it off like that, so... I'm gonna need going in like that, and... All around like this. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Need new pick? What's going on over there? There is fire. There is fire and there is wood over here. I don't think that's a good combination. Go ahead and put out some of the fire. Is this just open? What's going on over here? Why is there... Why is there horrible damage and fire and things? Good gracious. Alright, uh... So I guess... Hoppers... Then go into here, here, and here. Oh, I need... <laughs> Getting distracted all over the place. Alright. Pick, 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 pick. Give me a pick. Give me that pick. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the pick. I do appreciate it very much, game. Whoop. That's not to please to... Mm. Okay, I may as well grab this quartz. Don't dig straight down. Uh... Alright, quartz, 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 quartz is awesome. But I probably... I can I can mine quartz later. I should probably... I say finishing mining the quartz. Because it is, of course, quartz. Okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Fill in some of that. Whatever. Good enough. And now... Oh, uh, just a little bit more of this. Where are the furnaces? Okay, give me access to the furnaces. That's what I want. There are three furnaces, right? Three by three by three, something like that. So I will need to whack this out and put one there. Yeah, three, three, three. Okay. So I will definitely need a bunch more hoppers. But that's okay. We do have a tree farm and we definitely do have the um, iron as well. That should not be a problem. Uh, then... There's going to be netherrag in these furnaces. And it is definitely going to be annoying me. But I will fool around with that. I'll fix any of that once I get it rigged up. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that, that's actually... Yeah, that's, that's necessary. <sighs> Give me that. Alright. Again, not loving the cobblestone look, but I won't fool with it for now. Uh, I'll just roll with it. So I guess... 
It's there, underneath there. Oh, no, that's, that's e. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, this will need to be redesigned slightly. Uh, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, so I guess... Just... Yeah, how can I do this? How is How best to do this? I probably want... Probably won't put in a formal sorting system. Probably not worth time or resources. It's like honestly not worth it in the least. But I can route all the items through to a chest there. And what's gonna happen is if I have um, all these come through this way and sort of have hopper like a hopper pipe going around the top here. Um, the hoppers underneath will grab from the hoppers above before the hoppers, you know, pull across and stuff. So they'll actually fill up, you know, right along the line there. So that'll work pretty nicely. So I just need to do something like that. Something like that. And I'll need a whole bunch more hoppers to continue this. But how am I gonna... Let me actually grab a hopper to back. One hopper should probably be enough, actually. Give me that. Um, let me figure out how I'm going to actually do the interface here. Hmm. So... I might need to just put, you know, that will obviously be a hopper, but do something like this and put the chest up there. I'd prefer not to, but I don't know. Having a hard time coming up with a better way of doing it. Not sure. Uh, let's see. How could I? Because if I let's. Because uh, there's no real way to get it, you know, get the items up from down below without using some kind of complicated item elevator, which I'd prefer not to do for this setup. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. If I come up with something better, then I might change plans midstream, but right now that's looking like the best idea at the moment. So I'll just go ahead, proceed along those sorts of general lines, make myself another chest here, and stick that there so it'll be something like that. And I'll do something cool with a facade around the outside there so it isn't quite as ugly. Yeah, that'll look okay. Won't look too terrible. I'll be okay with that. Alright, cool. So I guess I will cut away once more, get a bit more done, and then be right back again. So, status report, I have run out of materials, but I'm going to go ahead and go back once again for a bit more iron, a bit more wood, and some smooth stone brick to help finish this off. But basically, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, I finished off the line around, uh, so we've got the input chest right here. So, fuel will go in there, any blaze rods can go right in there, it'll fill in all these top furnaces, the bottom furnaces will still be manual, of course. Uh, but the top furnaces will get filled in quite nicely. Actually, now that I think about it, I could probably just add another line of hoppers directly underneath the ones I already have. Um, they'd fill in the bottom ones as well. I'll probably do that, at least with fuel, um, not with items from here, because obviously we wouldn't be able to access the tops. But we could at least put fuel in them. That, that might be worth doing. I'll probably do that. Uh, but then the items that you want to smelt will go in here, and. I'll be routing um, some hoppers around through there, and they'll basically come around and on top of all of these hoppers, right around through here, right over to here. Uh, might put another overflow chest. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? No, I'll just route it into the same overflow chest, sure. Why not? That'll work. 
Uh, and then I can figure it out from there. I don't anticipate too much will end up in those overflow chests, in this overflow chest, those overflow chests, this overflow chest. There is just one of them. I just decided that. So, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, for the most part, it's just, you know, you don't have to go all the way diving into the system to get something if something fell in. Uh, that kind of thing. So, actually, let's see. What sort of things have ended up in these furnaces? Oh, you know what? These furnaces are frustratingly clever. They only accept... Oh, they only accept potential fuel. So I'm going to need to go through all those hoppers and check to be sure that there's a netherrack or whatever gumming up the works. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, well, I'll do it later. Um, for now, I'm just going to head back, grab some more resources, and uh, hopefully finish this off. It'll be a pretty quick, easy build from there. And I'll probably fix over here as well so that it's sym symmetrical, symmetry sort of dealio. I changed it up so that you wouldn't be able to see the hoppers here. And also because it conveniently gets rid of the cobblestone. Anyway, so I'll be right back with more resources and further progress. I don't think I've mentioned this on camera yet, but I actually um, spent a little time working on this guy right here, which is really awesome basically some good old respiration and aqua affinity uh, for work underwater and that kind of thing uh, really awesome really helpful if I you know need to go dive down and collect the stuff that <laughs> I dropped when I clumsily died or something uh, and I spent quite amount of time uh, combining this out of drops from the skeleton dungeon down here um, here. And then I came down earlier to see that. <laughs> see, mine is Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1, Projectile Protection 4. And this, right out of the spawner, <laughs> is object. It's basically objectively better, because it's protection instead of projectile protection. <sighs> so I think I'm going to swap off and just quickly... Ditch that and repair this one instead. Uh, oh, I, I'm gonna need a. I think I just dropped that on the car. Uh, this should work. A uh, bit like that. Nope, too expensive. How about like that? Yeah, 27. That's good. Um, diver. There we go. It's a diver. Hooray. I can be a diver now. Very good. So there's that. Um, and that's very nice. It's very nice indeed. Uh, and it should be quite good. So I think that other than that, I should be pretty much... Um, I've got some wood. I've got some iron. I should be... Oh, I, I need to just smelt up some more smooth stone. So I will do that, and then I'll be right back with you in the nether once again to finish off that project. Alrighty, there we go. That's a lot of hoppers. I believe it's all set up more or less correctly. Uh, and I can probably quickly test it out by grabbing some of these blaze rods out of here. And I don't know, let's see what happens when I start stuffing them in the furnace. And the input chest here. They should be filing into... Where are they going? I don't know where they're going. If they're going in here, we've got problems, but... Oh, that's wrong. Hmm. I'm not sure where all the blaze rods are going. Are they... are they still going? They're going somewhere! Oh, you know what? They're filling up the hoppers down below! Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Alright, problem solving on the fly. You know what? Maybe we do want a certain amount of... netherrack in there. Let me just go ahead and... You can reduce that down to one slot being used. That will be only one stack per um, 
And this should never go into the furnace because it'll um, just sort of sit here in there. It, it, the furnace won't accept it, so we won't be able. It won't be able to filter in. Um, not an ideal solution, and we won't be able to do anything about the upper uh, ones, like these ones. They're still going to want to fill up, but that's okay. I mean, we're going to have so many blaze rods in the system that I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. I uh, think it's alright. We can get away with that. Um, and hopefully, netherrack doesn't become combustible as fuel, which would break the system. But it wouldn't seriously break it, and honestly, I'm not all that worried. Uh, and then, then where all this is concerned, is that gonna work the way as it's intended? Let's see. Yes, so far so good. Very good. Awesome. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Alright, so it's gonna take a whole lot of blaze rods to fill up this thing. But once it's full, it should be all set. And then it'll have very high capacity for automatic smelting and an even larger um, capacity for reasonably manual s smelting. And all of these, as long as there are enough blaze rods in the system, all these should be kept stocked with blaze rods uh, for fuel sources. So that's very cool. Um, so I think I'm going to take a few last final steps in making this a bit prettier. Like you can still see netherrack back there and that kind of thing, and this is still cobblestone. So I will do those. Um, maybe brainstorm a little, see if I can figure out an excuse to make that mirrored on the other side, because I kind of don't like that it's kind of asymmetrical now. But then I think I'll be more or less done with this. Alrighty, I think it's pretty much done. Um, wasn't able to figure out anything to go over here, so for now this is just a chest here. Uh, may or may not ever actually do anything with that. We'll see. Um, if anybody has any ideas for what to hook up there, then go for it. If you want to remove it, that's also fine. I, Whatever. Um, and this huge blank wall could also potentially definitely be part of plans. Um, I wasn't sure of anything to do with it. Uh, changed up the floor a little bit here to accommodate for the lower ceiling. It works okay, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know. More or less just fooling around. Um, if I was feeling a little bit more ambitious, I would probably tackle the stairs. But for now, I think that's gonna pretty much do it. So... Um, I think that's pretty much the end of the episode, and uh, I think pretty much up to date on what I'm doing and what's been done and so forth and so on, so I believe that that should be good. So I will see you guys next time.